I want to talk today about uh, embossing. There's been uh, there's a lot of videos on how to emboss uh, the reed plates of a harmonica, and uh, it's not rocket science. So here I am supporting the reed plates with a piece of paper. I, I probably support them more at halfway. I could go further up. I could go maybe three quarters of the way. I put a generous amount of mineral oil on the tip of the embossing point, and I'm holding down the reed so that it doesn't uh, move around and uh, uh, I put a light pressure pushing straight down uh, in the groove between the reed and the uh, slot. Now as I'm doing this I tilt my head and I can see a little glimmer of light. The, the, the brass becomes very bright when it gets uh, uh, pushed in and I'm using that uh, um, light appearing brass to as a point of reference as to know where to start and where to go again. So I, let's pretend I did it every read, uh, 1 to 10, and then I f you saw me turn the uh, read plate around and I did the other, the other 10 sides. Um, take the sheet out and now I'm going to uh, emboss the, the rest of the slots. Uh, starting from the point I can see, uh, you can't really see it on the video here, but I'm starting from the point where I left off. I'm just sort of connecting the dots and going all the way back up. Um, so one slot, the other, uh, the other side of the slot. Uh, all ten reads. Let's let's just pretend here that I did all ten reads. I'm going to show you uh, uh, an A/B comparison in a second. Um, so here I go. I'm finishing this side and uh, uh, read two. I'm going to do the the ends of the slots as well as the corners. Now the question is, okay, how do I know that I've done? Uh, a, a good job. How do I know that I've actually pushed some brass into the slot? Well, you could take a little toothpick and feel feel around. Do you feel a little resistance? Sort of like at the dentist when they pick at your teeth. Do you feel that there's a catch? And you'll know that, uh, see I'm feeling it here, that there's uh, some brass being pushed in. Here there's nothing. There's no resistance. But I didn't emboss this slot. So that's some feedback right away. You can also use your fingertip to feel that catch. Uh, just to quality control and double check your work. See, there's no catch there. It's not been embossed. Here, there's a great big lip. Uh, and this is light embossing. This is not even heavy embossing. Now, if you want to be even more paranoid and, and uh, do this on a test read plate just to make sure, uh, go way down to the base of that slot and look to see uh, that you've pushed some brass in. Uh, you could look with a toothpick. You could take a loop. Uh, you could take like a magnifying glass and look at the end of the light. Now here's a piece of cardboard uh, that I've just cut a hole into and I put it over my cell phone and I'm using it as a light table. I want to center this uh, reed back. Uh, now I'm uh, uh, pushing the slot in and I can see it's banging on the side uh, of the slot. So I'm going to take my reed wrench and I'm just going to nudge it so that I see light on both sides of the slot and I push it away. I was mentioning it's light embossing. If you want to go heavy, you're going to have to use direct vision and you're going to have to, uh, again, use a light table or some other magnify, uh, magnifying glass or magnification uh, and just emboss, emboss, emboss until uh, both sides of those th that slot is almost touching the reed. Now, uh, here you can. I'm trying to show you a comparison between an unembossed slot and an embossed slot, but the light is distorted when it goes when it wraps around, so you can't really can't really use that as a gauge. Um, my embossing tool. I like to uh, dress it up every now and then, maybe once a week, once a month, depending how busy it is. Here's just some fine sandpaper, uh, uh, straight down. Then at a 48 to a 45 degree angle, left and right, flip it upside down and then you just do a straight down little brush its teeth just clean it up a little bit you don't do 48 45 degree angles on on that uh, tip side you want to keep that side flat and your tools ready to go so that's embossing that's all I have for you thank you so much